Kidney stones. Kidney stones, renal lithiasis, nephrolithiasis, are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys. Kidney stones have many causes and can affect any part of your urinary tract from your kidneys to your bladder. Often, stones form when the urine becomes concentrated, allowing minerals to crystallize and stick together. Passing kidney stones can be quite painful, but the stones usually cause no permanent damage if they're recognized in a timely fashion. Depending on your situation, you may need nothing more than to take pain medication and drink lots of water to pass a kidney stone. In other instances for example, if stones become lodged in the urinary tract, are associated with a urinary infection or cause complications surgery may be needed. Your doctor may recommend preventive treatment to reduce your risk of recurrent kidney stones if you're at increased risk of developing them again. Symptoms A kidney stone may not cause symptoms until it moves around within your kidney or passes into your ureter the tube connecting the kidney and bladder. At that point, you may experience these signs and symptoms. Severe pain in the side and back, below the ribs. Pain that radiates to the lower abdomen and groin. Pain that comes in waves and fluctuates in intensity. Pain on urination. Pink, red, or brown urine. Cloudy or foul-smelling urine. Nausea and vomiting. Persistent need to urinate. Urinating more often than usual. Fever and chills if an infection is present. Urinating small amounts. Pain caused by a kidney stone may change for instance, shifting to a different location or increasing in intensity as the stone moves through your urinary tract. When to see a doctor. Make an appointment with your doctor if you have any signs and symptoms that worry you. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience pain so severe that you can't sit still or find a comfortable position. Pain accompanied by nausea and vomiting. Pain accompanied by fever and chills. Blood in your urine. Difficulty passing urine. Causes. Kidney stones often have no definite, single cause, although several factors may increase your risk. Kidney stones form when your urine contains more crystal-forming substances such as calcium, oxalate and uric acid than the fluid in your urine can dilute. At the same time, your urine may lack substances that prevent crystals from sticking together, creating an ideal environment for kidney stones to form. Knowing the type of kidney stone helps determine the cause and may give clues on how to reduce your risk of getting more kidney stones. If possible, try to save your kidney stone if you pass one so that you can bring it to your doctor for analysis. Types of kidney stones include Calcium stones Most kidney stones are calcium stones, usually in the form of calcium oxalate. Oxalate is a naturally occurring substance found in food and is also made daily by your liver. Some fruits and vegetables, as well as nuts and chocolate, have high oxalate content. Dietary factors, high doses of vitamin D, intestinal bypass surgery and several metabolic disorders can increase the concentration of calcium or oxalate in urine. Calcium stones may also occur in the form of calcium phosphate. This type of stone is more common in metabolic conditions, such as renal tubular acidosis. It may also be associated with certain migraine headaches or with taking certain seizure medications, such as topiramate, topamax. Struvite stones. Struvite stones form in response to an infection, such as a urinary tract infection. These stones can grow quickly and become quite large, sometimes with few symptoms or little warning. Uric acid stones. Uric acid stones can form in people who don't drink enough fluids or who lose too much fluid, those who eat a high protein diet, and those who have gout. Certain genetic factors also may increase your risk of uric acid stones. Cysteine stones. These stones form in people with a hereditary disorder that causes the kidneys to excrete too much of certain amino acids, cystinuria. Risk factors. Factors that increase your risk of developing kidney stones include Family or personal history If someone in your family has kidney stones, you're more likely to develop stones, too. And if you've already had one or more kidney stones, 
you're at increased risk of developing another. Dehydration. Not drinking enough water each day can increase your risk of kidney stones. People who live in warm climates and those who sweat a lot may be at higher risk than others. Certain diets. Eating a diet that's high in protein, sodium, salt, and sugar may increase your risk of some types of kidney stones. This is especially true with a high sodium diet. Too much salt in your diet increases the amount of calcium your kidneys must filter and significantly increases your risk of kidney stones. Being obese. High body mass index, BMI, large waist size and weight gain have been linked to an increased risk of kidney stones. Digestive diseases and surgery. Gastric bypass surgery, inflammatory bowel disease or chronic diarrhea can cause changes in the digestive process that affect your absorption of calcium and water, increasing the levels of stone-forming substances in your urine. Other medical conditions. Diseases and conditions that may increase your risk of kidney stones include renal tubular acidosis, cystinuria, hyperparathyroidism, certain medications, and some urinary tract infections. How to avoid kidney stones. Preventing kidney stones means preventing the conditions that support their formation. Drink plenty of water, drinking extra water dilutes the substances in urine that lead to stones. Strive to drink enough fluids to pass 2 liters of urine a day, which is roughly 8 standard 8 ounce cups. It may help to include some citrus beverages, like lemonade and orange juice. The citrate in these beverages helps block stone formation. Get the calcium you need, getting too little calcium in your diet can cause oxalate levels to rise and cause kidney stones. To prevent this, make sure to take in an amount of calcium appropriate to your age. Ideally, obtain calcium from foods, since some studies have linked taking calcium supplements to kidney stones. Men 50 and older should get 1000 mg mg, of calcium per day, along with 800 to 1000 international units, IU, of vitamin D to help the body absorb the calcium. Reduce sodium, a high sodium diet can trigger kidney stones because it increases the amount of calcium in your urine. So a low sodium diet is recommended for the stone prone. Current guidelines suggest limiting total daily sodium intake to 2300 mg. If sodium has contributed to kidney stones in the past, try to reduce your daily intake to 1500 mg. This will also be good for your blood pressure and heart. Limit animal protein, eating too much animal protein, such as red meat, poultry, eggs, and seafood, boosts the level of uric acid and could lead to kidney stones. A high protein diet also reduces levels of citrate, the chemical in urine that helps prevent stones from forming. If you're prone to stones, limit your daily meat intake to a quantity that is no bigger than a pack of playing cards. This is also a heart healthy portion. Avoid stone forming foods, beets, chocolate, spinach, rhubarb, tea, and most nuts are rich in oxalate, and colas are rich in phosphate, both of which can contribute to kidney stones. If you suffer from stones, your doctor may advise you to avoid these foods or to consume them in smaller amounts. For everyone else, particular foods and drinks are unlikely to trigger kidney stones unless consumed in extremely high amounts. Some studies have shown that men who take high doses of vitamin C in the form of supplements are at slightly higher risk of kidney stones. That may be because the body converts vitamin C into oxalate. 